Hi, very good afternoon, everybody. Let us welcome to 10th Biology. Now we are in almost end of the fifth chapter, coordination, the linking system. So, so far we discussed about that uh, how the living organisms, especially the animals, uh, can control over and control and coordinate the activities with the help of neural and uh, chemical coordination. After completion of that, uh, animals. Uh, regarding the plant physiology especially the plant coordination instead of we are using the coordination the plants can uh, control the activities with the help of uh, the hormones those we call as uh, phytohormones so obviously the plants are having the five major hormones which can influence the plant activities is it good children already we discussed about the term the plant hormones are phytohormones, those are obviously five, those are auxins, cytokinins, gibberellins, abscisic acid and ethylene. So these five major kinds of phytohormones can impact the plant activities to control over the growth of the plant body. So how it was influenced, it was very clear in the table number three, it was discussed in the previous video. So in this part, in this video, we are going to discuss about that, how the one of the hormone like auxin, auxin is a one of the plant hormone which can promote the shoot and root system, elongation and apart from that differentiation, apart from that differentiation. So how the scientists know about that the hormones which are present in the plant, those hormones are very important for vital role of the plant activity to lead that uh, differentiation of cell elongation, how they have to know over to this uh, issue means, uh, see, actually, this is the information was began to that, uh, the collecting the auxins uh, from some of the plants uh, by the Charles Darwin and his uh, son Francis Darwin. I mean that, this is the information, I mean that oxygen is one of the plant hormone which was extracted by the Two experiments by these two experiments. First one is Charles Darwin and, and his son Francis Darwin, followed by that FW Went experiment. So these two activities based on the two experiments or activities, let us know about that the phytohormone like oxygen. So we have to begin our experiment with the first second. So first of all, we have to focus on that phototropism. Phototropism. As you know that uh, the stimulus and response, where there is a stimulus followed by that uh, particular stimulus, the directional stimulus. So, as you know that the plants are senses to that uh, particular stimuli, like uh, light, heat, gravity, pressure, water, touch. So, the plants can respond to that uh, particular stimulus. So, apart from that, we are taking the phototropism, means uh, the light. Uh, bends towards to light because of light is a stimulus bending is the response so that we are going to know about this uh, activity obviously the charles darwin and his son francis darwin performed uh, some experiments on that uh, phototropism so that he was selected uh, a plant a portrait plant so these portrait plant uh, bending towards to sun how why it was bending towards to sun how they have to know about that uh, sun is a uh, one of the directional stimulus according to that uh, they have to respond how it was happens they are uh, conducted a series of experiments so first of all they have to cover this uh, tip of the portion with a metal foil that means uh, they are not uh, allow the light so when they are covered the metal foil the light is not penetrated to, the, to this uh, stem portion tip of the portion so there is no bending of the so the plant did not uh, bend towards the light because the light is not penetrated towards the tip of the portion because of the entire portion is covered with the metal coil. When they remove the metal, when we are, they are allowing the light towards to the plant, obviously the plant shows somewhat bending towards the sunlight. How? Because see, this is the light, this is the stimulus. So this is when the light is an external stimulus also or penetrate the cells. So obviously it can 
increase the hormone increase the hormone the natural hormone which is uh, the plant growth hormone which is already increased in the cells it should be stimulated by the light so here light is stimulated so it is the external stimulus when the light falls on the tip of the plant so the cells growth that means it, it promotes the oxygen promotes the cell elongation and the differentiation of root system and shoot system especially shoot of the tip this means uh, this is the shoot system or tip of the uh, plant so the cells can divide fastly when compared to the to shaded side so when the cells can uh, grow to the to multiple cell divisions takes place by the external stimuli so this is called as a lighted side this is called as a shaded side so when the cells are grows fastly when the light falls on the to stimulus so it can go towards to the to reddening so it is a influence the influence is a identified as a phototropism is it clear children it's a very simple activity once again i repeat here this is a potted plant usually when the potted plant is kept in near the window in our house of course we kept this potted plant inside of the house but obviously the plant bent towards to the sunlight and it bends through the windows and it goes to the external side how it happens why why because the external stimulus like light when the light falls on the stem portion the cells can starts the stimulation that means cell division so due to that cell elongation and differentiation and it takes so the more cell division process obviously because of the more cell growth the light can passes through this light and shade to shaded side so here the fast growth is occurs here the low growth why because the light is passing towards to the shaded side so here more growth is occurs and compared to that this side so obviously the bending is occur so this phenomena was noticed by this charles darwin and francis actually it was clearly noticed the another scientist in 1926 a dutch plant physiologist named f w venter he was succeeded he was succeeded in separating this influence so they said that just oxygen is a chemical influence which can cause the bending towards the sunlight but they are not succeeded in extracting so that was that was succeeded by this uh, f w bent experiment so f w bent is the person is the scientist is the physiologist so f w bent was succeeded in separating this influence influence in the sense chemical substance that chemical substance that we call as oxygen so this influence from the plant that was produced it so the plant which is produced the plant which is produced the chemical influence or the chemical substance or the influence we call beginning itself it is the influence means impact or impel so that influence that we call as a chemical substance later it is called as the first plant hormone it is called as oxygen by the fw went experiment how he has given the name oxygen it is a plant hormone it is promoting the cell elongation and differentiation so how it comes to known means he has selected the oat oat seed so when he has to take the oat seedlings this is a polyepidal means a tip of the tip of the oat seed this is called as a polyepidal just when he has to bend cut off the polyepidal tips of oat seed tips so when he has selected this oat seed so when cut off the when he cut off the polyepidal tips of oat seed tips so he has separated this tip and he has to take the one of the chemical substance like agar 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 means it is the one of the chinese gas so when he has to touch these another substance like uh, this agar to the to tip of the polio petal due to that uh, this chemical substance due to that uh, this chemical substance like agar uh, when he is touch to that uh, the tip of the polio petal obviously it has to be bent see the picture clearly this is the first second third fourth step this is a oat seedlings this is the cut of the oat seedlings of polyepidal 
So when we have to keep this uh, tissue culture technique of agar agar solution, when the agar solution agar agar is a nothing but a one of the feeding material. So when yeah, when the when the touch this polio petal polio petal to the agar medium, obviously these polio petal bends. Because of his influence, that means because of his uh, chemical substance. So he has extracted this uh, chemical substance uh, that is called as a natural, natural chemical substance. Uh, it is called as a indolestic acid. Actually, is the oxygen is one of the plant hormone, but uh, which is the natural first uh, plant hormone is uh, indolestic acid. Indolestic acid. So it is called as the first natural oxygen. It is collected by the wood seedlings. This is called as an oxygen, first plant hormone. This is the first natural hormone, it is called as an indolestic acid. So, this oxygen is a plant hormone, was collecting by the FW1, but it was noticed first time by the Charles Darwin and Francis. Next, the last and final topic of this coordination we are having the two types of movements individually in plant. For example, see, Plant tip of the plant uh, can change the direction. According to that, uh, plant hormones uh, we are having the different uh, movements. That means uh, one is the trophic movements, the second one is the nastic movements. So what is meant by trophic? Here light is the stimulus. So the plant bent towards to light. It is called as a phototropism or phototropic movements. So there is a directional stimuli. So without a directional stimuli. The house flies or muscles are flying without any direction, without any purposeful movements that we call as a nasty movements. But usually, when we observe the mimosa podica, thigmo, this touch me not plant, when we touch the plant due to the thigmo nasty, it is the nasty movement, thigmo nasty. The creepers, usually the creepers are the, are the helping of the climber plants. So these tendrils. Are the creepers which help us to think more nest. So these creepers take a support of the rods of that uh, windows or any other uh, object. They have to take a support and the plant can be grown up. So this is called as a think more nest. Like uh, hydrotropism, phototropism, chemotropism, gravit gravitational force. So we are having the different types of uh, tropic movements as well as the nastic movements. So, this is the information about the, the conclusion part of the fifth chapter coordination. So, so far we have discussed about the coordination, especially in animals by neural coordination and chemical coordination. Neural coordination means uh, both the brain, spinal cord, and the autonomous nervous system means sympathetic, parasympathetic, and all. Chemical coordination means uh, total information about the hormones. Whereas coming to the plants, uh, there is no neural coordination only the chemical coordination means uh, hormone coordination that we call as a uh, five kinds of major hormones those impact uh, these uh, plant growth uh, plant uh, growth hormones are phytohormones which can impact the plant uh, total body so those what we call as a uh, phytohormones so these one of the phytohormone like oxygen we have to extract this oxygen from these uh, old seedlings by the fw experiment so this uh, bending phototropism experiment on that uh, phototropism by that uh, Charles Darwin and uh, Francis Darwin and finally we move to that uh, tropic movements and uh, nastic movements. So this is the conclusion part of the fifth chapter. Now we are uh, completing that uh, fifth chapter. Next we are going to that uh, sixth chapter reproduction. I hope everyone is uh, comfortable with these uh, videos. You have to watch the video. Apart from the erudex videos, these uh, subject teacher videos, and you read the textbook thoroughly, and you have to make your own notes, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you, children. Thank you.